Among the dissenters of the Baal Shem Tov was a certain man named Avram Abba. Avram Abba was a wealthy, prominent member of the Vad Arbar Tzot, a council composed of four European countries that oversaw everything to do with Jewish affairs in those areas. Avram Abba, despite being a fine scholar in his own right, never studied Kabbalah or respected anyone that did, and for this reason, he never liked the Baal Shem Tov. But he was interested in him, and he wanted to study him up close. So using his authority, he summoned the Baal Shem Tov for a meeting with the council. Wasting no time, the Baal Shem Tov showed up still dressed in his peasant clothes, which did not raise his initial impression in front of the esteemed members of the council. However, it didn't affect Avram Abba, and he immediately opened up with a mocking question, asking the Baal Shem Tov, Tell me, Mr. Baal Shem Tov, how many books are there in the Torah? Responding equally as mocking, he says, Doesn't it clearly state in Proverbs, he hewed her pillar seven? But surely that's not the reason you brought me here today. At this point, Avram Abba had realized today was Rosh Chodesh, the beginning of the new month, and he had forgotten to add the addition in his prayers called Yale Vayavo. So he followed up asking, What does a person do if he forgot to say Yale Vayavo in his prayers today? Baal Shem Tov responded and said, Look, I'm a simple person. I travel from place to place, village to village. And you all, your esteemed scholars, you clearly know every facet of the Torah. I, I know horses. Perhaps I could ask you a question with something closer to my heart, and we could find your answer that way. How is it possible that a person can have two horses that on the surface look exactly the same, and yet a man is willing to pay ten times as much for one over the other? Without hesitation, Avram Abba jumped in and answered, said it's simple. The one horse must clearly be ten times as fast as the other. That justifies the price. Baal Shem Tov said that's exactly right. However, what happens if this horse that is ten times as fast strays and goes off path? It strays ten times as far. So what then is the advantage of the one over the other? Everyone was silent. So the Baal Shem Tov opened up and answered his own question. He said it's simple. This horse that strayed ten times as far can return ten times as fast, just as it did before, to its starting point. In this way, we still see that it's got a greater advantage than the other slower horse. And so too with Yalo Vyavo that you happen to miss. There's a difference between a person that didn't miss it and a person that did. I, for one, will never miss Yalo Vyavo. But you, once you have missed it once, you'll most likely miss it again in the future. And with that, the Baal Shem Tov finished his pointed remark and left the council meeting.